Hello, and welcome back to the north. We're just continuing on, getting ready for winter down here. Feeling pretty good. Normally, normally this time of year is just crap because you know that you're going to get stuck in the house soon. And uh, you almost already are because it's getting damn cold out there. Uh, a lot of times we get snow by Halloween. And kids are out there and it's snowing on them while they're trick-or-treating. Uh, so, there's pretty much no more warm days left. And uh, we're hunkering down. But, uh, we've got our fish stock in. We've got our tank for miscellaneous stuff down here. This tank is essentially almost a big sump because it's the bottom of my chain when it comes to linking all the tanks together. I gotta get this tank either linked in, but I think I'm gonna leave it independent to be honest. And I think I'm going to take this 15 gallon uh, Flubel Flex in the left corner over there. Uh, I'm gonna bring it down Put it under here, build another weir, and uh, set up a sump. I think that's, that's what we're going to do with this 65. I just have a, a background just like all the rest to get on there. I just haven't gotten around to it. There's no fish in there. It's just, it's, it's just cycling. The tank's just running. Water's pristine. Nothing's alive in it, that's why. I ghost feed it, get a little flake food every now and then, keep the bacteria going. But, uh, yeah, I gotta get, uh, I gotta blow at least a hundred bucks on plants. This is getting so expensive, you know. Um, but yeah, I gotta blow about a hundred bucks on plants. I went overboard this month. So I, I'm just stopping. I'd like to do it right now. I can do it right, but I'm stopping because it's, it's just insane. And uh, but you know, bills are all paid. And everything's up to date, and uh, and we got some stock in. The room's improving. I like to keep the light low down here, so you just see the tanks. Instead of keeping the over light on, overhead light on, I don't know. It's just relaxing. I sit and I have a chair here. And I have a comfy chair over here too. Of course, we're a little darker over here right now because this tank uh, lights up a little slower. And I light it up very slowly on purpose because the Oscars, uh, the Oscars can get startled. There, actually, this is you know, my comfy chair. Computer set up. And uh, I've got I've got more tanks like sitting in the spare room upstairs, upright on their ends, just uh, I gotta get more more another sort of rack thing designed down here. Figure out where I'm gonna put it. Got some ideas. But uh, we're gonna get that going too. I'm gonna link uh, two thirty gallons and a twenty gallon. Uh, one of the 30s and one of the 20s are both longs. And then uh, the one of the 30s is going to be a tall. But I've got, I've got an idea. It's going to look good. It's going to look nice. And that's going to be like, you know, small tanks. 30-gallon uh, longs. I could treat Oscars should they get sick. Um, I don't think I'll ever have problems with my Oscars, but you never know. Uh, and aside from that, then I'll just use that. I'm going to link them together. It'll be a 90-gallon system, and I'm going to use that for rearing uh, fry of whatever kind of fry I need to rear. It'll be like a fry station. So that's coming on this wall when the tank gods bless me again. There'll be another six uh, six-foot tank probably. I might even build the plywood tank. I don't know. We'll see what happens. It just depends on. Uh, just depends on what happens, <laughs> it's, you know. Um, this is this is an on-the-fly project, and uh, this is me doing what I can with what I got, and we're getting there. We're getting there. 
a year in the making. Yes. No, we've done good. We've got many thousands of dollars in fish stock. Uh, many thousands of dollars in gear. Um, and the flow system is just, wow, you know. So happy I did that. It ultimately, it would be best to link this in. I really should do that. But I'm going to have to get very creative about... Uh, about the distance because the overflow pipe will come out the top come down and then I've got to make a very slight I got to run pipe up that back wall and very slight downhill it could be done it could be done it could be done but the only bad part about it is I'd also have to put a sump uh, in this tank to pump the water into this tank and uh, they're just getting a little too crazy It'd be better to get a sump and drop it in the barrels, but I already got like two things drawn out of those barrels. And if I get too much rate coming out of them and not enough going back into them fast enough, like it should all equalize and should be an issue. But there's a point where I'll need another barrel kind of thing. I think I could link that in, though, and run it like that. It's just a very long distance to, to pump the water. and uh, But if I buy the right pump, it'll, it'll work out. The easiest, or the thing I'm going to do, though, is uh, 450 gallons is big enough for all these tanks to share. Like, for all the fish that I could possibly fit in them, it, it's, it's more than enough. So... This will be independent with its own little sump down here. And that's going to run just fine. That way I can... It's probably And, and it's probably going to be the flower horn tank, so it's probably a good idea to run it like that. Just like the discus tank upstairs is its own deal, right? You might have to run different temperatures. All these tanks are pretty much synced up, although I did a water change yesterday, so they're still a little out of sync, like, you know, 77.2. But after they run, after they run for a day or so, they sync right up. All the temperatures across the whole system will sync right up. And, uh, it's pretty stable. I see a lot of people, um, uh, you know, with other fish tube channels, and uh, they've got an amazing number of tanks, and they've even got them all set up. Like I don't have like a lot of room in the sense that I could run tanks in a straight line across my basement. But if you're in a position where you could do that, you should definitely be linking your tanks together because um, it, it's gonna save you. I mean, when you do your water change, when I do my water changes for the setup, right, I got I, I change it about 200, 220 gallons of water, probably, 240 gallons. I don't know. I never really count it, but I aim to change out that much. And uh, it takes me a while. It takes me a while. So, you know, like when you run your tap for that much water, it takes a while. And, uh, but... Um, when this system ages and it's like several months older than it is right now, cause I really only started this, this, this tank went up by itself in the spring and then, you know, a couple months later the rack started to go up and then these tanks went in and then the barrels came in and I started running pipe and, um, it took me all summer to uh, acquire the materials and get this together so um, it's gonna need till at least spring until it's actually cycled like it's cycled enough to keep fish alive but it's not seasoned and aged and, you know really cycled this much water that's gonna take that's gonna take months but despite the fact that it's not cycled what you're not seeing in my huge system that contains 450 gallons of water, it is cloudy ass water. You're not seeing a white, milky, cloudy ass 
situation here. And I got lots of fish. I just stocked like literally tripled my fish population last week and my water is still clear. It's still clear. You know, I'm not sitting around waiting, like running my fish in, in bacteria filled cloudy water. All right? A lot of people get stuck in that mode. And I'll tell you why it will. Why is my water clear like this with all these fish? It's it's just over filtration and UV. UV is your friend. It allows you to do more. Love your UV. Stick them everywhere you can. They're cheap and they're effective and the replacement bulbs cost a couple bucks. If you're not using a UV, you're shooting yourself in the foot. If you think you're too good a fish keeper, you don't need it because you've got your bio cycle dialed in. You're fooling yourself. You're just fooling yourself. But yeah, if you haven't already done it and you're running independent tanks and you're doing independent water changes and I do all my water changes just, just in the corner. I just drop in my, my my drain zone and let her go. And everything starts to come down where it needs to. It, it couldn't be easier. And I'm changing all these tanks in the one spot. Sure, I still have to gravel back and go from tank to tank. But that's, that's just nothing you're going to get away from. But the actual water change work, all in that corner. And made it made, made my, life, my life a lot easier. But the, uh, if you got tanks in a straight line, we just try and uh, try and set them up in a step. So you got like here, you got one higher than the other, and you get the next one a little lower. So you might have to jack jack your tanks up a little bit as you go, get them up on stilts. But the more you can use gravity, uh, the more successful uh, uh, this sort of setup is. And uh, then you don't need as many pumps. You could actually, if you if you did it right, you could use one pump, one pump, and just a bunch of pipes, letting it all flow, letting it all throw, flow through each system. I had to be a little bit weird and sketchy with the way I did it because I have space constraints, but it's working, working like a charm. You know, comes out through through this pipe from the top travels through all the various tanks, comes back into the barrels, comes into this tank, and then just just keeps going. Down in there, out through the back tank, out into this tank, and then back into the barrels, and then and it's just constantly doing that. So every single filter is helping every single, every single tank. And uh, that's why I need plants down here, because this system does not have plants in it. And these fish all can't be with plants. But I will put plants down here and, and then maybe some live bearers or something just to, you know, just to give the plants something to fertilize them with. And uh, it should be after those plants get in and everything, uh, everything stabilizes for a few months. These... I, I probably only have to do a water change once every two, three weeks when it's stable, right? So, but right now we're doing them about every five, every four or five days. And I do the discus tank upstairs religiously every four or five days, four normally. Sometimes I get lazy and wait five, very rare. And uh, so I'm just treating these guys the same as I treat my discus until I figure the system has... Uh, has matured and it's getting mature as it's on its way seeing less and less algae build up over time I dropped some plants in there soon to, they'll live because I've got enough biology and fish poop and all the stuff the plants need in the water you know you can't just rush into plants either they'll just die on you you gotta, you gotta have things at a certain point, and then you go, then you go plant happy.
So I tried that. Plants just kept dying. Now I seem to be able to keep plants alive because the tank upstairs is more mature, you know. So I guess that's enough of my babbling for this morning. But I uh, just wanted to show you what it's like just to sit in my cozy chair and stare at, stare at aquariums. I guess we'll have a quick peek, quick, quick peek at the uh, discus. Breeding stations are all cleaned up, ready to go. And these babies had their maintenance yesterday. They're just all looking great. Their lights just came up too. Some happy fishies right there. They want breakfast. They're all up front greeting me, saying hi. That's just the way it should be. That money wart's just rocking the world. The swords are starting to look a little more clean. They're still, uh, still hurting. I'm probably going to pull that leaf almost right off. Or just tear. I'll get in there with scissors and start cutting the, uh, the black beard off the off the edges. I don't know. But uh, swords are probably just not a good choice for me. The water might be too warm for them. I also don't want to stick plants in the soil, so I don't know. there's that. But what's really killing them is is that black beard. And once I uh, enough plants in here there won't be any more algae we're at that point so Rome was not built in the day it wasn't even built in the year so I think I'm doing pretty good I think I'm doing pretty good let's hope we can keep the momentum going I hope you're enjoying your coffees and I, uh, I hope you have a wonderful day.